Staff versus staff. See, he's already using the force. <laughs> this fight is sponsored by Gold Bond. Yo, what's going on, you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here with me, myself, and I on the ones and twos, and this is We 18 Reactions, the place where I react to everything we ain't never seen. And today, we got a special reaction for you guys. We're actually gonna be diving into some movies, man. And what movie are we gonna be diving into? The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Rings. Yes, I am have been anticipating this thing because I have a long-standing history with it, believe it or not. Um, unlike a lot of fanatics out there, I wasn't too high on this thing. Like, I remember seeing so much hype about it. People were raving about how good it was, how it was a cinematic masterpiece. Peter Jackson was touted to be this directing genius that brought these legendary stories to the big screen. And they amassed a lot of money at the box office, man. This is like the epitome of a box office juggernaut. Like, say what you want. Before things like the Avengers and all these other superhero movies went over to cross that billion dollar threshold, it was actually the Lord of the Rings uh, trilogy that was doing that too. And of course, you had other movies from um, other big name directors, you know what I'm saying? Like the guy that directed Avatar um, and the Titanic, which is still up there in that upper echelon of billion dollar box office bangers. But yeah, man. My boy Peter Jackson, he was doing his thing too. His thug thizzle, if you know what I mizzle. And, you know, everybody was just talking about it. But I just could not get into it because it was such a phenomenon that everybody was talking about it. And it was making its way over into these other shows and shit like that where people just had to reference it. And I, I just couldn't get into it. But I couldn't knock that they had a star-studded cast that have gone on to do great things. You know, you obviously got the, the main guy, Elijah Wood, and my guy, um, Ian McKellen, and... Um, What's my boy name? Orlando Bloomin' Onion. Shout out to him. And Liv Tyler, who I had a major crush on, you know what I'm saying? Team Lips. You know, I think we would make beautiful babies, but now that's not going to be a thing since I'm married, but you get my point. Yeah, it, it was, respect was definitely given, but I just couldn't go and bring myself to watch it because for one, it was a very long movie and I just didn't have patience back then. Maybe my brain wasn't fully developed to handle a story-driven concept that put so much into each character. You know, um, I was a big Michael Bay fan at the time and a, a Snyder fan, which isn't a good mix for anybody especially when you actually know what goes into making a great movie it's not all about the spectacle it's about the development and the world building and i feel like i am in for a great journey when i watch this and i am just hoping that you guys are in for the ride as well especially those who've already experienced these movies and want to relive them relive them with me let's get into this together man hopefully you guys grant me a pass i know that sometimes a lot of communities especially you know communities such as this one there can be a lot of gatekeeping so uh i know i'm not worthy but please just allow me this rite of passage and let's just experience this together um but without further ado let's get into this i hope you guys have brought you lunch because this is going to be a long day it's gonna be three hours for the full version which you can check out on patreon when you subscribe to the tier three patreon so uh do that but let's go ahead and jump into this guys this is gonna be the lord of the ring the fellowship of the ring i smell it in the air much that once was is lost for none now live remember it. Wow. I was wondering if my screen was messed up or something. I was like, why is it just black? A black dude looking at a black screen. It began with the forging of the great rings. Three were given to the elves, immortal, wisest, and fairest of all beings. Okay, you got Kate Blanchett Seven up in there. To the dwarf lords, great miners and craftsmen of the mountain halls. Team ring pop. Nine, nine rings were gifted to the race of men, but they were all of them deceived. For another ring was made, 
In the land of Mordor, in the fires of Mount Doom, the Dark Lord Sauron forged in secret a master ring. Dark Lord Sauron? And into this ring he poured his cruelty, his malice, and his will to dominate all life. Well. One ring to rule them all. Boy, I bet he caused all kind of calamity. The free lands of Middle Earth fell to the power of the ring, but there were some who resisted. Of course, we ain't going out like that. Men and elves marched against the armies of Mordor, and on the slopes of Mount Doom, they fought for the freedom of Middle Earth. That's how we do it, man! All these gingivitis looking motherfuckers. Man, this looks really good. Look at the scope, the scale, and everything of this shit. Is that Mr. Smith? Yes. <laughs> ah. Victory was near. What happened? Neo showed up. But the power of the ring could not be undone. Of course. Get ready to get fucked. Look how tall this man is. Bitch. <laughs> this guy is playing Dynasty Warrior right now. He's at level 100. You guys are just NPCs. It was in this moment when all hope had faded. Daddy. Isildur, son of the king, took up his father's sword. Shit. Cut his hand off. There you go. Or at least the fingers. Put that shit in dipping sauce. It's gonna do blow up. Sheesh. Sauron, the enemy of the free peoples of Middle Earth, was defeated. The ring passed to Isildur, who had this one chance to destroy evil forever. But the hearts of men are easily corrupted. Yeah, that's how it always is, Even man. Has a will of its own. This motherfucker probably ended up going crazy. It betrayed Isildur to his death. And some things that should not have been forgotten, were lost. Legend became myth, and for two and a half thousand years, the ring passed out of all knowledge. Hmm. Until, when chance came, it ensnared a new bearer. Who was that? The man himself. The ring came to the creature Gollum, who took it deep into the tunnels of the misty mountains. And there, it consumed him. Mm. Every crackhead on Skid Row. Rumor grew of a shadow in the east, whispers of a nameless fear, and the ring of power perceived. It's time. Had now come. Hmm. Damn, my nigga dropped the ring? How? But something happened then the ring did not intend. It was picked up by the most unlikely creature imaginable. Look at those fat fingers. Bilbo Baggins of the Shire. You better run for that crackhead, get you. For the time will soon come when hobbits will shape the fortunes of all. Hobbits, man. Everybody needs one. They're like walking little Teddy Grahams or something. You know what I'm saying? Look at this guy. He got his little chubby feet. You just squeeze them. Boy, 
boy humming that gangster's paradise. Tell him. Nor is he honey. He arrives precisely when he means to. <laughs> like, oh, I'm just fucking with you. Tell me everything. Tell me everything. Tell me everything. Tell me everything. Sky. What can I tell you? Life in the wide world goes on much as it has this past day. Full of its own comings and goings. Scarcely all the the existence of the hobbits. Which I am very thankful. I can tell you that these bitches ain't shit. And they'll take you for your money if you aren't careful. They have this thing called OnlyFans now. Before you came along, these agencies were very well thought of. Indeed. Hmm. Never had any adventures or did anything unexpected. If you're referring to the incident with the dragon, I was barely involved. You're right. All I did was give your uncle a little nudge out of the door. Whatever you did, you've been officially labeled a disturber of the peace. I thought that was ludicrous. <laughs> Look at him. Look at this motherfucker. I can't stand his ass. You already stole Yensit's hat from Fantasia. Fireworks. Hey! See, it's a lituation when Gandalf is here. <laughs> okay. Look at Eevee enjoying this shit. Why does he look like Big Ed from uh, 90 Day? I'm glad you're back. So am I, dear boy. I like how the houses are kind of embedded in the actual foliage in the ground. Ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah, you're going to have to squat down to get up in that motherfucker. Thank you! We don't want any more visitors, well-wishers, or distant relations. And one of our very old friends. Right. Bilbo Baggins. Bilbo. I'm hungry to live your own home. I couldn't believe it. Really? When it's dead. You look like you were bitten by a radioactive Phil Collins. Come in, my boy. Come on, come in. Let's go. Welcome, welcome. You still hanging with those Keebler boys? Uh, tea? Or maybe something a little stronger. I've got a few bottles of the old Winyard left. 1296. Mm. Very good year. Oh. Ooh, boy. As a tall guy, I can relate. A dragon. Don't tell me you already left. Just you. Oh, not <laughs> <laughs> got to get away from these confounded relatives hanging on the bed all day, never giving me a moment's peace. <laughs> mountains again. Mountains, Gandalf. And then find somewhere quiet where I can finish my book. Please, let me get some peace. So you mean to go through with your plan, then? Yes, yes, it's all in hand. All the arrangements are made. You got the chief. Well, I suspect something. Of course he does. He's a begging. Not some block-headed brace girl from Hard Bottle. <laughs> you will tell him, won't you? Yes, yes. He's very fond of you. I think in his heart, Frodo's still in love with the Shire. Who's the Shire? Yes, the fiends. Oh. So he's a pansexual? <laughs> Let me quit. I'm old, Gandalf. I know I don't look it. But I'm beginning to feel it in my heart. It's that ring, isn't it? I feel thin, sort of stretched, like butter scraped over too much bread. I need a holiday. A very long holiday. This guy needs a break. And I don't expect I shall return. In fact, I need not to. Oh, Tony. 
Were they smoking some breezies? She had passed that shit. <laughs> I don't think they're missing the Snoop Dogg right in the middle. Cool. Gandalf, my old friend. This would be a night to remember. <laughs> Man, you better ask her. A little tenderloin over there. Hey. Yeah, just blow up the whole fucking village game. Ooh. You idiots about to do now. Yeah, man, get the good shit. What the hell is that? These goofballs. Bro. What is this he gonna do? Okay, y'all got them damn Mulan firecrackers. What is that Mushu? Oh, shit. Why would you do that? <laughs> Come here, you idiots. Scallywags! Left me one year is far too short a time to live among such excellent and admirable hobbits. Oh. I don't know half of you half as well as I should like, and I like less than half of the half as well as you deserve. <laughs> Memes. What, what does that mean? They, uh, they ain't shit. I regret to announce this is the end. I'm going now. I bid you all a very fond farewell. Goodbye. Wow, just like that, huh? This nigga think he nightcrawler. That's cool. Measure thing that was terribly clever. <laughs> Come on, Gandalf. Can you see their faces? There are many magic rings in this world, Bilbo Baggins, and none of them should be used lightly. If it's just a bit of fun. Oh, you're probably right, as usual. You will keep an eye on Frodo, won't you? Two eyes. Mm. As often as I can spare them. I'm leaving everything to him. What about this ring of yours? Is that staying too? Hell no. Yes, yes. Say an envelope over there on the mantelpiece. He's lying. No. That shit is too addictive for him to lose. It's in your pocket, sir. It's in my pocket. Why shouldn't I keep it? I think you should leave the ring behind. Is that so hard? Well, no. And yes. <laughs> I feel like parting with it. It's my family. It came to me. Who's managed to get angry? What if I'm angry? It's your fault. Nigga, you don't chill. It's mine. My precious. Oh, shit. Precious. It's been called that before, but not by you. Oh, my business isn't yours, but I do with my own things. If you've had that ring quite long enough. You want it for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Do not take me for some conjurer of cheap tricks. Oh, wow. I'm not trying to rob you. It's 
It's gonna go Magneto on your ass. I need to help you. <laughs> That's right. Suck him the bitty. Right. Yes. All right. Let's make sure that's not a fake, though. He's already having regrets, second doubts. I thought of an ending for my book. And he lived happily ever after. To the end of his days. And I'm sure you will, my dear friend. Goodbye, Gandalf. Goodbye, dear Google. I still wonder, though, why does he feel like he needs to leave this village? Is that just a thing that the dwarves do? You gone, bro. Oh, shit. He's gone, hasn't he? He talked for so long about me. I didn't think he'd really do it. Okay, he's able to hold it, at least. The imposing. He's gone to stay with the elves. He's left you back again. Hmm. Along with all his possessions. The ring is yours now. Including his adult movie collection. And his toenail collection. Where are you going? There's some things that I must see to. What things? Questions. Questions that need answering. You've only just arrived. I don't understand. Neither do I. Okay, so, so far so good, man. The cinematography in this looks phenomenal. Like this thing, for it to be 20 plus years old, like the special effects still hold up. Like, especially on the King of Mordor, like the way they had him shot to make him look super imposing and dark was well, like well shot. And the color, the color grading looks really good up in this too. And, um, I'm guessing that they had to use some kind of like movie magic to make these guys look shorter than what they are because I don't think Ian McKellen towers over anybody like that. He's a pretty normal sized guy, but the way they're doing this is really good, especially um, the way they have the uh, dwarves feet too. Like they have that very flat, elongated looking foot that kind of makes it seem like they are short and their 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 hands like particularly their fingers are over accentuated they're wide very steak finger looking you know what i'm saying so everything looks good i just wonder why bilbo felt like he needed to leave the village did he feel like he was going to be a threat because he had all that power sitting right there in his pocket his so-called precious and does he already know that Frodo is the only one that can deliver this ring to its rightful place? Who knows, but so far so good. I'm enjoying this. I can't wait to see what's gonna happen. So let's keep it going. Man, that's a crazy looking castle. So it looks like we're in Mordor again, where everything is dark. And it hasn't been dusted in hundreds of years. Shire. They're partying without me. Let's hurry. <laughs> So what are you trying to say? You're gonna have to light it on fire, or are you gonna? 
take it to a Mudorian or something like that. Somebody similar to that evil emperor. Oh wow. Did he come back? Is he still alive? Oh wow. Even the horse looks pissed. Somebody been ravaging through all the papers, man. Bro. <laughs> Gotta stop sneaking up on people like that, bro. <laughs> Is that gonna work though? We'll tell us if this is one of those middle of the mall rings or not. If it turns green and proceeds to melt. Hold out your hand for it. No. Oh wow. What can you see? Can you see anything? Nothing. Wait. Ooh. There are markings. It's some form of elvish. I can't read it. There are few who can. The language is that of Mordor, which I will not utter here. This is the one ring forged by the Dark Lord Sauron in the fires of Mount Doom, <laughs> oh, dude. taken by Sindor from the hand of Sauron himself. Uber found it. In Gollum's cave. Yes. For six years, the ring lay quiet in Uber's keeping, prolonging his life, delaying old age. But no longer, Frodo. Evil is stirring in Mordor. The ring has awoken. Mm. It's heard its master's call. But he was destroyed. Sauron was destroyed. No, Frodo. The spirit of Sauron endured. Is he so he... His life force is bound to the ring. Reincarnated? Survived. There is one other who knew that Bilbo had the ring. I looked everywhere for the creature Gollum, but the enemy found him first. Wow. What the fuck are they doing to him? They tortured him. Amidst the endless screams of the name Babel, they discerned two words. Sauron! Baggins! Sure. Shire. Baggins? But that will lead them here. <laughs> Come on, old school. Take it. You must take it. I don't want that shit. I'm giving it to you. Don't take me further. <laughs> What's that do? Leave. Time to go on an adventure. Where? Where do I go? Get out of the shower. Make for the debris. Me? What about you? I'll be waiting for you. At the end of the prancing pony. What the fuck is that gonna be? We don't have food. Is that a brawny convention? Any answers? I must see the head of my order. He is both wise and powerful. Trust me, Voda. You'll know what to do. All right, let's go. The name of Baggins behind you. But that name is not safe outside the shop. Be done. Spot the pulled up. That's got to be Lil Sam, right? Little <laughs> Samwise Gamgee, have you been eavesdropping? <laughs> I am dropping no eaves, we're honest. I was just cutting the grass under the window there. If you follow me. A little late for trimming the verge, don't you think? I didn't I hear no race. motor running. What did you hear? Tweet! <laughs> Nothing important. That is, I heard a good deal about a ring and a dark lord and something about the end of the world, but please, Mr. Kendall, sir, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me in anything unnatural. <laughs> no. Perhaps not. I've thought of a better use for you. You look, I don't violate you with this damn staff. Is it safe? Never put it on, for the agents of the Dark Lord have been drawn to its power. Almost remember Frodo. The ring is trying to get back to its master. 
it wants to be found. Whew. See, from a distance, they look like average height. It's like, but when they put them up against somebody, somebody else, it's like you see the camera angle changes, and they put a lot of emphasis on how short they are in comparison to the normal height people. Are we in the field of Jeepers Creeper? This is what? I take one more step. It'll be the farthest away from home I've ever been. We got this, bro. Remember what Builder used to say? It's a dangerous business for them. Going out your door, you step onto the road, and if you don't keep your feet, there's no knowing where you might be smoked off to. It's like Grand Theft Auto. It's like you never know who's gonna bump into you or run you over. Look at this World of Warcraft looking motherfucker right here. That literally looks like a fucking raid tower. So I know this is the movement for me. I've been immersing myself in so many different RPGs. The hour grows late and Gandalf the Grey rides to Isengard seeking my counsel. Hey. For that is why you have come, is it not? My old friend, Saruman. Ain't this the guy that played Count Dooku? I forget his name. Sauron has regained much of his former strength. He cannot yet take physical form, but his spirit has lost none of its potency. Concealed within his fortress, the Lord of Mordor sees all. You know of what I speak, Gandalf. A great eye, lidless, breathed in flame. He is gathering all evil to him. Very soon he will have summoned an army great enough to launch an assault upon Middle Earth. You know this. Huh. I have seen it. I got the DVDs. The here is a dangerous tool, Salomon. Why? Why should we fear to use it? Indeed. That shit look clean. Not all accounted for. Magical eight ball. Stones. We do not know who else may be watching. The hour is later than you think. Sauron's forces are already moving. The nine have left Minas Morgul. The nine. They crossed the river Aizen on Midsummer's Eve, disguised as riders in black. Mm. They reach the shire. They will find the ring. Kill the one who cares. I mean, didn't you know that? Or has this guy already been compromised? Oh shit. Get out of there, OG. Boy, this is some whole shit. Oh god. No one alone who can. Tell me. When did Saruman the wise of Batman reason for mad us? Yes! Old man fights! Staff versus staff! See, he's already using the force. <laughs> this fight is sponsored by Gold Bond. Wow. <laughs> ah! Bitch! What you gonna do, Gandalf? Why is he spinnerimming you? <laughs> wow. My God, Booker T would be jealous. Frodo, I thought I'd lost you. What are you talking about? It's just something Gandalf said. What did he say? Don't you lose him, Samwise Genji. I don't mean to. Sam, we're still in the Shire. What could possibly happen? <laughs> <laughs> you ran up by some other dwarves? Frodo! Mary! It's Frodo Baggins! Hello, Frodo! Get off! What kind of shit is this? What's the meaning of this? You've been in the portal of Maggot's crop! <laughs> well, just so he can frame you guys. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Frodo, 
a couple of carrots and some cabbages. And then those big bags of potatoes that were left you last week. Red! <laughs> Yeah, this is going well. Ugh. Oh, that was close. What do you see, bro? I think we should get off the road. They ain't listening. They don't hear that music. They don't see this wind and all this other nefarious shit going on. Get off the road! Dumbasses. Can't tell you other hobbit shit. He has a sixth sense for this stuff, though. He has main character energy. <laughs> Did the horse just fart? Something smells like oh no! Oh my god, no! Oh no! Don't flinch, don't move. Don't put it on. Don't put it on! Bro, this is too this is too much for me. The fuck was that? It's like a medieval Debo, that's who it was. It's like, what you got on my forty, homie, or should I say my ring? What is going on? That black rider was looking for something. Or someone. Frodo? Get Don't look at me. <laughs> this guy is still searching. It's relentless. Buckleberry Fairy? Oh shit, come on, bro. Why couldn't y'all just sneak? Boy. I better hurry up and get out of there. Hurry up! I didn't know that I could detach from that. Jordan! You better hope this guy doesn't have projectile magic or something. So I thought it was just going to be an adventure with two, not four. This is crazy. This ugly bastard. What do you want? This man had to use the other little <laughs> Ugly ones too. We wish to stay at the inn. Our business is our own. All right, young sir. I meant no offense. My job to ask questions of the night. Excuse me. <laughs> Masters, if you're seeking accommodation, we've got some nice, cozy hobbit size rooms available, Mr. Underhill. My name's Underhill. 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 We're friends of Gandalf the Grey. Can you tell him we've arrived? Gandalf. Oh, yes. I remember. Elderly chap. Big grey beard, pointy at not seen him for six months. Sam. B. Come. <laughs> What's that? A beer. It's a, it's a pint. It comes in pints? Oh. I'm getting one. Really? You got all that ready? 
I was like, that shit, y'all ain't gonna be able to handle all that. Madam Kona, who is he? He's one of the rangers. They're dangerous folk they are who are in the wilds. What his really name is, I've never heard, but around here, he's known as Strider. What color ranger is he? Red or green? Mastodon, T-Rex, Dragonzord. Don't fall under the influence, man. Why would you say that? Come on, you idiots! Oh no. <gasps> Damn it. Yeah, they can smell that shit. Where's he at now? The void. Oh, okay, guys. So things have gotten very interesting. We know now that Sauron, he isn't completely dead, only his body, but somehow he exists up in this void, and anytime somebody puts on the ring, they um, visit him momentarily before they blip back into reality. I'm not sure, but there's so much going on. Man. We just saw a battle of OGs with staffs doing all kind of force chokes and pushes and stuff like that, and my man Ganondorf, he, or Gandalf, it looked like I'm getting franchises mixed up, but they're kind of similar. And apologies, um, I know I called these guys dwarves. They're obviously hobbits. I don't know why I just couldn't register that thought out of my mind. I wanted to say hobbits, but it just couldn't come off my lips for whatever reason. But yeah, it's like something about Frodo that makes him resistant. You know, I'm not sure. I heard somebody say something about a halfling, so maybe that's one of the reasons why, because Frodo isn't a full-fledged hobbit and maybe his heart is so pure that it can't be that tainted by the ring compared to other people that can be easily influenced by it. Um, Gollum seems to be getting tortured over in Mordor. Uh, just just snitching his ass off basically just Takashi 6 9 in it until he gets his hands back on his precious ring which I've seen in promotions I think he does like he does come into contact with it with Frodo and Sam and maybe Pippin and this other guy who knows but it's very interesting man and I don't know why it has a lot of jump scares to it too but anyways I'm not gonna waste any more time let's go ahead and jump back into this man too much attention to yourself, Mr. Underhead. Where are you taking me, bro? It's my sticky love dungeon. A little more caution from you. That's no trinket you carry. I carry nothing. Indeed. I can avoid being seen if I wish, but to disappear entirely, that is a rare gift. Who are you? You frightened. Yes. Not nearly frightened enough. So can you smell that too? Oh. What have you got sense? <laughs> you have a stout heart, but that will not save you. You are no longer wait for wizard friend now. Mm. <laughs> wow. It's like fuck the password, let us in this motherfucker. I like how these guys come with their own dry ice smoke. Just sleeping peacefully in their little dwarf or hobbit beds. I'm gonna get that. I'm stop saying dwarfs. Oh, <gasps> shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Wake up! <gasps> ah, no! Please 
Please tell me that's not them they're stabbing. That has to be somebody else. Nice. <laughs> I need to get out of town. What are they? They were once men. Now they screech like they little girls. Then sound on the deceiver. Gave to them nine rings of power. Blinded by their greed, they took them without question. One by one, falling into darkness. Ring wraiths, neither living nor dead. At all times, they feel the presence of the ring, drawn to the power of the one. They will never stop hunting you. How do we know this droid is a friend of Gandalf? We have no choice but to trust him. Right. Plus, we need parental guidance. We look like little kids. This guy. The power of Isengard is at your command, Sauron, Lord of the Earth. So this guy gets manipulated in every franchise. Build me an army worthy of Mordor. Ew. What orders from Mordor, my lord? What does the Eye command? We have work to do. Okay. It's gonna be a rematch. It's gonna be on site next time. Why are we tearing down all the trees? The trees are strong, my lord. Their roots go deep. Rip them all down. So I guess this is either gonna find the elves or they're gonna run them out. What are they trying to do right now? Tomato. What are you doing? Tomatoes, just his nice crispy bake. We we'll saved some for you, Mr. Fogo. Put it out, you fools! Put it out! That's nice! <laughs> <laughs> of course. Here we go. Man, get rid of these niggas, man! They always draw attention to you guys. This ain't gonna be no easy Weenie Hut Jr. mode. Y'all are finna get clout. Now this is a sword, motherfuckers. <laughs> See how I grip it? We got the Steel Toe Air Force on the zone. Them spiky ones. Them spike 11s. Oh, no. <laughs> My God. Come on, Froads. You gonna fold too? Hopefully he doesn't become dependent on this ring. What you gonna do, bro? You gonna put it on? Of course. So there must be the former wielders of the rings or... <laughs> you motherfucker! Get out of there! There you go, my nigga Strider show up! My goodness! Oh. Okay, so he can actually kill these guys? Hey, right, yeah, take that bootleg. I know what you did last summer. Reapers, ghost faces, Get your little choir robes. Now, don't run now. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> look at he has to look back. Well, ain't that some shit? For six days for Riverdale. He'll never wake you. Boys already going to town making some new weapons. 
guess I'm gonna use the trees for firewood. Ew, what is that? Huh? What is that? Wow. <laughs> hey, you guys! So this must be an orc or something like that. Yeah, X gon' give it to you, motherfucker. Looks like Doomsday from uh, Bat v Batman v Superman. He's going cold. Is he going to die? He's passing into the shadow world. He's soon to become a race like them. <gasps> He's gonna become a Persona character. <gasps> oh yes, hello gorgeous. Can't wait to see you back in the MCU. Yeah, hip hip hop at the hip at the hip at the hip hip hop. She's an elf. He's fading. Oh. He's not going to last. You must get him to my father. I've been looking for you for two days. Where are you taking me? There are four graves behind you. Where the other four are, I don't know. I thought we met yet. Yeah, what are you gonna do, man? How are you gonna avoid these guys? They are relentless. That they got lit on fire and they're still at their. Wow. Damn, it's so many of them. Oh my goodness. Don't y'all get hiding all this shit? He's turning green. He's getting boogers all up in his eyes. Hurry. You can go out maneuver these bastards if you have to. You're gonna be cornered though. There you go. Maybe they don't like water. I want to believe that they hate water. They never cross the shores. Oh yeah. They, they, these them Irish Springs right here, boys. If you want him, come and claim him. I remember that line. I remember that from the commercials. Let me find out this bitch is a waterbender. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, don't run now. Ooh, water horses? <laughs> That's hilarious. No. no. Come on, bro. Maybe her little elf terror will keep him alive. What grace has given me? Let it pass to him. Let him be spared. Save him. Huh. Last to rest me. The young man got it. It is 10 o'clock in the morning. Really? On October the 24th, if you want to know. Who is this? Kendall. Yes. Um, yeah. Hey. That's a nice bed, bro. You're lucky to be here, too. Living like a baller. A few more hours and you would have been beyond our age. But you have some strength in you. My dear. What happened, Kendall? Why didn't you meet us? Oh, I'm sorry, Frodo. 
the friendship of Solomon is not likely thrown aside. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. One ill turn deserves another. It is over. Embrace the power of the ring. Or embrace your own destruction. What does it mean if this guy getting ashier and ashier? There is only one Lord of the Ring. Only one who can bend it to his will. And he does not share power. Tell the Emperor to kiss my ass! Let's go! <laughs> Let's get it, man. That looks very good. So you have chosen death. Peace was never an option, baby. It's only a shortcut. Daniel? What is it? No. <laughs> Just thinking of a bitch ass nigga. Frodo! Sam! Bless you, you're awake! <laughs> Sam was hardly left your side. We're not worried about you, won't we, Mr. Gandalf? By the skills of Lord Elrond, you're beginning to matter. Hey. Welcome to Rivendell, Frodo Baggins. There he goes. Bilbo, hello, Frodo, my lad. Bilbo. He's already aging up, too. Now that he doesn't have the ring anymore, you can see... It looks like he's gotten older. Back again. A Hobbit's Tale by Bilbo Baggins. I miss the Shire. I spent all my childhood pretending I was off somewhere else. Off with you on one of your adventures. My own adventure turned out to be quite different. Mm hmm I'm not like you, Bilbo. What you gonna do, bro? This seems like a sacred spot where these guys can't come and get him. We did what we set out to do. But we will be safe in Rivendell. I am ready to go home. All right, let's go then. Let's get strength returns. It will do never fully heal. You will carry it the rest of his life. And yet, to have come so far, still bearing the ring, the Hobbit has shown extraordinary resilience to its evil. Solomon is coming for the ring. This evil cannot be concealed by the power of the elves. We do not have the strength to fight both Mordor and Isengard. Gandalf, the ring cannot stay here. Where else are we going to take this shit? We can't destroy it. It's impervious to heat and damage. Is this who is this Triple H looking motherfucker? Okay. So Boy Wonder himself. It belongs to all Middle Earth. They must decide now how to end it. The time of the elves is over. My people are leaving these shores. Who will you look to when we've gone? The dwarves? They hide in their mountains seeking riches. They care nothing for the troubles of others. All right, guys. A lot has happened, man. My boy Frodo almost got clapped after being uh, stabbed by some kind of mortal, what do they call it, Mordral sword or something? Which is cool because when he crossed over into the void this time, he saw these different guys that looked similar to um, Sauron. You know, they all had a similar looking aesthetic. Uh, I'm not sure if, if those are the former bearers of the ring or maybe they're just like, I don't know, spirits or something like that or that are trying to relay a message to him. They're trying to acquire the ring from him in some kind of way. It's, it's interesting because every time he enters that realm, everything is white. Like when he saw the chick who's played by my girl Liv Tyler, uh, she was like... She had on a white kind of garment, which I'm not sure if that just shows that she's pure. That puts emphasis on that aspect of her. But once he snaps back into reality, she just has normal clothes on. So maybe this is like a foreshadowing of something that we don't quite yet understand. 
but it's interesting none the least, man. I forgot that my man Hugo Weaving was also up in this. For whatever reason, even though he plays a good guy, he still looks like he's playing a bad guy. Like maybe he can uh, succumb to Sauron's, um, you know what I'm saying, like power and influence. Uh, they already got uh, Sauron, or whatever his name is. Sa is it Sauron? They, they, they already got him, and he seems to be just going crazy by the second. I forgot who plays this guy. Um, who plays Saruman? Who plays this guy? Because he is a good actor. I don't think he's with us anymore either. I want to say his name. The actor. Give me the actor's name. Christopher Lee. Yes, Christopher Lee, the guy who always manages to play some kind of evil force user, force choker. Yes, of course. I, I don't know why. It's like there are so many interesting parallels. I know Star Wars borrows from everything, but, you know, I, I'm more familiar with Christopher Lee when it comes to that particular franchise as opposed to this one. But it is so good because he fits the character. Everybody fits each character that they play man it's really good and now this mofo has basically just been creating these hybrid warriors these these orcs spliced with elf men ready to go out and do his bidding and cause all kinds of calamity and destruction so we gotta figure out how we're gonna stop that oh we're gonna keep the ring up in riverdale we're gonna ship it somewhere else uh with amazon packaging what are we gonna do we gonna see here we go Man. Yeah. Man, <laughs> really? Man, his favor. Life never knows all the spent. It's pride and dignity forgotten. It's because of men the ring survives. It's because of your forehead. I was there. I was there 3,000 years ago. <laughs> Uh, the day the strength of men okay I can understand why he sees it that way because this guy getting easily influenced I love where the ring was forged he didn't want to throw it in the fucking flames no I say the nay <laughs> I'm keeping this shit taking it to pawn wars <laughs> Ass nigga. Isildur kept the ring. The line of kings is broken. There's no strength left in the world of men. A scattered, divided leaderless. There is one who could unite them. One who could reclaim the throne of Gondor. He turned from that path a long time ago. He's chosen exile. What was that? Is that the sword? The shots of Narsa. The blade to cut the ring from Sauron's hand. Come on, bro. Is this guy cursed? <laughs> no more than a broken hand. Yeah. It might be an omen. You might want to watch out, bro. Why do you fear the past? You are a sealed door's heir, not a sealed door himself. Mm. You are not bound to his fate. The same blood flows in my veins. Same weakness. Bro, you are not your father. Your time will come. You will face the same evil you see. That is a cute necklace. You said you bound yourself to me. Mm. Forsaking the immortal life of your people. And to that I hold. I would rather share one lifetime with you than face all the ages of this world alone. Hell yeah, who wants to live forever, man? It should have get boring. We've seen Highlander before. We know how this shit goes. It's gonna be one person that just goes crazy. Hmm. 
Get a room, you two. Strangers from distant lands, friends of old. You've been summoned here to answer the threat of Mordor. Middle Earth stands upon the brink of destruction. None can escape it. You will unite or you will fall. Why does he give all Triple H vibes? bound to this fate, this one doom. Bring forth the ring. From... No. This motherfucker is going to succumb to it. Why not use this ring? No. Long has my father, the steward of Gondor, kept the forces of Mordor at bay by the blood of our people. Are your lands kept safe? Give Gondor the weapon of the enemy. Let us use it against him. You cannot wield it. None of us can. Exactly. One ring answers to Sauron alone. It has no other master. And what would a rage know of this matter? This is no mere rage. It's the son. He is Aragorn, son of Aragorn. Exactly. Come on, nigga, put some respect on my name. This is the Sudir's heir. The one and only. I come from his balls. An heir to the throne of Gondor. How for that, Lewis? Gondor has no king. Gondor needs no king. Really? You have only one choice. The ring must be destroyed. And what are we waiting for? <laughs> Shit, let's go! <laughs> Say this! Wow. Taken deep into Mordor through the castle, back into the fiery chasm from whence it came. One of you must do this. Me, I volunteer. Does <laughs> not simply walk into Mordor. Its black gates are guarded by more than just orcs. There is evil there that does not sleep. The great eye is ever watchful. Have you heard nothing Lord Elrond has said? The ring must be destroyed. And I suppose you think you're the one to do it. Of and if we course. Fail, what, then? what happens when Sauron takes back what is his? I will be dead before I see the ring in the hands of an elf. <laughs> uh oh. Come on, guys. We gotta get along. Let's bring this shit together. Go. No. I do not know the way. You got the knuckles. Come here. Okay, the squad with me. If I'm my life or death, I can protect you. Let's go, Jared Leto. You had my sword. Who else? And you have my bow. Link. And my axe. Guy from World of Warcraft, uh, one of the dwarfs. Did you bring a broom boomstick too? Who else? Okay, the face is all right, Lord. This is indeed the will of the council. The condo will sit down. Hey, let's go. Mr. Furl's not going anywhere without me. No, indeed, it is hardly possible to separate you even when he is summoned to a secret council. The bromance is that real. What about you guys? We're coming too! Anyway, you need people of intelligence on this sort of mission. Yeah. Quest. Thank <laughs> Like, isn't this gonna be a raid? You should be the fellowship 
Right. Of the ring. Right? Oh, really? Nigga. <laughs> My own sword stained. Take it, take it, take it. Mm. It's so light. Yeah, yeah. Made by the elves, you know. The blade grows blue when orcs are close. And it's times like that, my lad, when you have to be extra careful. Really? Chain mail? As light as a feather, and as hard as dragon's head. Let me see you put it up. Okay! Little hand me downs, let's go. Oh shit. Don't show him that. Oh. I don't bring it. Don't let him touch it, bro. <laughs> He's already going through withdrawals. One last time. Don't. <laughs> oh no! It's a fucking Sith Lord. That was so crazy. It's like this nigga turned into a Palpatine for a second. Sorry, I brought this upon you, my boy. I'm sorry that you almost carried this burden. I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> There they are, they're off. That grand adventure. See, some of this stuff you can tell that it hasn't aged quite that well because the compositing is off, it hasn't reached the level that it's it's at today. But these shots, man, they are a master class of cinematography. There you go. Click clink clink. I'd say we were taking the long way round. <laughs> we could pass through the mines of Boria. My cousin Bali give us a royal welcome. Okay. Don't give me. I would not take the road through Boria unless I have no other choice. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Ooh, good shit. Okay. That works. <laughs> the hell is it? It's the locust from Gears of War. So I'm guessing that these ravens could be their eyes, like the wraith can see through the raven's eyes. South has been watched. We must take the pass of Caracas. Some old Gandalf will try to lead them over the Lagras. And if that fails, where then will you go? Where is the mountain defeats you? Will you risk a more dangerous road? There's a foul voice from here. Oh. Uh oh. He's gonna cost the avalanche. Y'all better move around. Come on, Ganondorf. Won't you use some of your magic? This is gonna be a chant off. This is gonna be a freestyle chant battle. Round two. You got spitting magical bars. I again. <laughs> no duh. Take the worst to my city! Yeah, but Rohan takes us too close to Isengard! We're gonna crash over the mountain! Let us go on, mate! 
Moria. Moria. To fear to go into those pipes. The dwarves delve too greedily and too deep. You know what they awoke in the darkness of Khazadu. Shadow and flame. Well, let the ring bearer decide. We will go through the mines. Okay. So be it. Okay, where are we on? Grace, the doors of Durin, Lord of Moria. Speak from and enter. What do you suppose that? Oh, it's quite simple. If you want a friend, just speak the password. The doors will enter. Okay, what's the password? What's the Wi-Fi password? <laughs> <laughs> Is that lower or uppercase? Make sure you get all the different characters. Probably has numbers in that password. Do not disturb the water. Oh, Jesus. It's a riddle. A riddle. I need to hurry up before whatever this says comes out of the water, man. Speak friend. And enter. What's the Elvis word for friend? Uh, get the fuck out of there. Alright. Single foul, man. Just make your way through. Sure, Master Elf. You will enjoy the food and hospitality of the dwarves. Roaring fires might be red meat of the bowl. Big booty holes. My cousin Bali, and they call it a mine. A mine. <laughs> this is a mine. This is a tomb, exactly. <laughs> It's like, what kind of mine is this? Wow. Is that your cousin over there? Look like you already the last of your kind. Wow. The hell is that? Is it a Hydra? Oh, Y'all getting attacked by a tentacle. Shit. Ew. Sheesh. Where's the Witcher when you need him? <laughs> wow, just wow. We now have but one choice. We must face the long dark of Moria. Be on your guard. There are older and finer things than orcs in the deep places of the world. Tell me some. Man, that right there it was very intense. Now, obviously, like I mentioned during this video, some of the effects has shown this age. Um, I noticed whenever like Frodo or one of the other hobbits is standing amongst one of the elves, dwarves, and even humans, the compositing looks a little off. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like the way you can see like this little shading under Frodo's foot when he's about to grab the ring or when he puts the ring down on the table when they're having that that counseling session where they are talking about what they're gonna do, how they're gonna travel to um, whatever that place is. Is it Mordor, Mordor or whatever? You notice the, the compositing looks a little off. And especially in one of the uh, set pieces where they're traveling, like the detail looks kind of smooth on like one of the land landmarks that they're passing by and with this monster i think one of the things that makes it a lot more passable than some of the other moments that i mentioned is the fact that it was filmed at night or in the dark 
you know it adds to that illusion that yeah this still has that gritty vibe to it the monsters textures look very presentable you know although it has also aged a little bit but so far man if i were to be watching this in theaters at the ripe young age of when this was produced or when it was, this was uh, released worldwide i would be like oh i would be in awe man like i like this is cinematic peak right here this is when peter jackson was really just going all out he's one of the the greats when it comes to special effects you know obviously we, we know that um gollum he was one of those things that was just so new and fresh and everybody was just going crazy over how the, the visuals looks and andy circus's performance lent itself to that and obviously Andy Serkis went on to provide other motion capture performances for Peter Jackson in the form of King Kong up in that, that movie that Peter Jackson directed. So yeah, special effects is on point. These monsters are very good, but let's see what's going to happen next. Here we go. <laughs> this guy's always hungry. He has a bottomless pit for an asshole. What is that? Oh shit, here we go. The goat himself. There's something down there. It's Gollum. Gollum. He's been following us for three days. He escaped the dungeons of Barad-dûr. Escaped. Or was set loose. Hmm. The details on those fingers. He loves the ring. As he hates and loves himself, he will never be rid of his need for it. It's a pity Bilbo didn't kill him when he had the chance. Pity? It was pity that stayed Bilbo's home. Many that lived deserved death. And some that died deserved life. Can you give it to them Frodo? Do not be too eager to deal on different judgment. Even the wise can see all ends. My heart tells me that Gollum has some part to play yet, for good or ill, mm -hmm. before this is over. Okay. The of Bilbo, they rule the fate of many. We risk a little more. Behold! The great realm of Dwarf city of Dwarf Wow. There's an eye of all the mistakes. R.I.P. to all these. Dwarf? Bro, chill out. Alright, Gimli or Gilligan, whatever your name is. No. No. This poor guy. Everything that he knew is gone. Here lies Bob, the son of Hunting. This is I feared. What wiped them out like this, though? It's a big ass dictionary. They have taken the bridge and the second hall. We have barred the gates, but cannot hold them for long. A shadow moves in the dark. You cannot get out. You cannot get out? What do you mean? Is that what they wrote? Was that the last thing they wrote? Okay. Could you be any more louder? <laughs> Not a magneto choke your ass. Fool of a duke. <laughs> Throw yourself in next time you bring us your stupidity. Please, tell this nigga something. Uh-oh. What is that? Well, you done woke up the neighbors. 
<sighs> oh shit! The uh, orc. <laughs> you guys ready to party? Of course they do. That's not gonna stop them though. Yeah, he ready to get his revenge. Get that get back, man. I'm with you. I am with you. Mm. Sheesh. There you go. Ugly boys. Somebody's gonna get an arrow to the knee. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Garen, don't, don't you have some kind of guard spells or something? Like defense? There he goes. The giant troll. Goddamn abomination. <laughs> there you go, yeah. Watch out, OG. Yeah. Yeah. They shoot this thing in the eyes, man. Nice. Bro, tell me you got to try for a shield or something. Oh, you think you Kratos? This ain't no quick time of it, bitch. Okay, that looked a little rough. Run, Frody, run! Boy. Ah, shit! <laughs> oh my god. No! Come on, Aragon, help! There you go! Shit! Right in the titty! Uh. Really, Aragon? Are you gone now? Watch out! Stab this thing in the eye, somebody. <gasps> no! Bro, we just brought you back to life. What the fuck are you doing? Ah! Hobbit quick time event. Bro. This thing is too tough, man. Aim for the legs. Mm. There you go, sheesh. Boy. This is why you should never enter any kind of tomb until you leveled up to 50 at least. This nigga keep on dying. What protected him? Where did he get stabbed at? He's alive. Come on. Come on. Come on. This feels too to boy. I think there's more to this topic than makes the eye. <laughs> Wrong franchise, buddy. Oh, yes, the mithril armor. Let's go. You know, so the surprises must have been. Let's go. Gotta make sure I turn it down a little bit for this, because I know this shit is gonna be heavily copyrighted. Oh wow, they popping up from everywhere. They're all in the crevices. 
Oh, their running animation looks a little weird, I ain't gonna lie. Oh my goodness, man. Somebody have a giant can of raid spray for these motherfuckers? What you gonna do now, man? You got all these musty looking motherfuckers. What is that? Yeah, crawl back into your assholes. It's gotta be a dragon. This has gotta be a dragon. I saw light coming from the end of that tunnel or that passageway. That bit of run. I should be following suit with these other bastards that just took off. Balrog. Oh, Balrog. Yeah, of course. A I thought so. Fire demon. This foe is beyond any of you. Yes, of course! Why did it take you so long, Captain Obvious? Boy, it's like, just sit there. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, y'all up in his home now, man. Alright, well, you think you better hurry up? Yeah, y'all not gonna fuck with a bow around. This thing is gonna melt any kind of weapon you swing at it. There you go, see? We like platforming. You played Mario Bros. before. Let's, let's go. He's too old for this shit. Nice. Oh shit, who's shooting at us? Come on, man, where you got time for this? Bitch. <laughs> there you go. It's like, I got this shit. <laughs> Get this dwarf a Manscaped sponsorship. Hurry up, man. Y'all gotta hurry up. Y'all gotta jump. Go for it. Please. Are you gonna wait till it falls forward to jump? <laughs> Good. This is where we get the infamous scene. Goddamn my bullshit for spun over here. <laughs> Let's go. Let him know. Yeah. It's the Yeah, I was waiting for the flaming whip. <laughs> Let's go. Sucker. I saw that coming. I saw it coming. Hurry up and get him, man. Please. Somebody help. Oh, 
Oh god. Motherfucker, bro. This guy is always falling. Y'all just sat there and watched, man. I'm disappointed in y'all. I, I guess those bastards were over there too, so they had no choice. But damn. Come on, Argon, please. They just lost one of their most valuable warriors. Yeah, where's Frodo? No. Such a powerful moment right there. I could feel that. Like, my heart aches for him. I can imagine how good this movie looks in 4K. I'm going to go back and rewatch this on my 4K OLED HD TV. You're coming to us. He says that footsteps of doom. Footsteps of doom? Great, great, evil, yeah. Uh-oh. If one dwarf she wanted to snare so easily, <laughs> I have the eyes of a hawk and the ears of a fox. Hi, Mr. Dickovich. Okay, if you got the ears of a rodent, nigga. The dwarf breathed so loud we could have shot him in the dark. Oh, wow. I need a rodent. I need a I have any donor. I don't think they're gonna let y'all uh -huh. in. These words are pillows. We should go back. You have entered the realm of the Lady of the Wood. You cannot go back. Come. She's waiting. Y'all gonna blind us. Is that. Okay, who is this? Eight that are here, yet nine there were set out from living death. Tell me, where is Gandalf? For I much desire to speak with him. He's dead. He has fallen into shadow. The quest stands upon the edge of a knife. Stray but a little and it will fail to the ruin of all. Wow. Did you write that yourself? Guys, shit just got real. We lost Gandalf, man, but he went out like a straight G. Like, I knew I was gonna get that moment because, once again, like, they have made so many memes and references to the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Like, you can't go anywhere without somebody saying, my precious, you can't, you shall not pass, and then you have chosen death. I think Then You Have Chosen Death comes from something else too, but I feel like this kind of predates whatever that came from, from a video game. Uh, but yeah, the, the Balrog design really holds up well, man. Like it looks just ferocious as it did back then. Now, like everything with that whole layer looks really good. It seems like uh, all these different things like are just like weighing on each character, man, especially the the dwarf character he seems like he is he's really going through it because he had to basically see all these dead bodies of former allies and close relatives you know i don't it's crazy i thought he would be aware of what happened to these people but i guess not he thought he was going to be welcomed back with a party and some malt beer but no everybody died and um we got a chance to see this cool troll which also looks good like i say guys whenever something is recorded in a dark area as opposed to just being out in broad daylight it has an, uh, an advantage already because that that makes it look real you know it, it kind of hides the uh, the imperfections and stuff like that which i think this thing it would have looked good in light or dark areas 
I think that's one of the things that uh, Peter Jackson put a lot of emphasis on the most. You can tell where he wanted all that effort to go in certain parts of this movie, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that was one of them. I think the faraway shots could have used a little more work like with the running animations, like when you see the camp running and the camera is drawn all the way back to show you the location they're in. The animations when they walk and they run looks a little off, but once again, that's just a product of its time. I can't really judge any of these things based on what I've, you know, seen now. You know, technology continues to advance. But there are certain movies that just look ass out the gate, but you can tell that this was just one of those ones that was like a, a high watermark for Peter Jackson's uh, filming skills. So, yeah. But anyways, uh, let's see what these guys do. Like, they met up with these other elves up in the, the woods. We see my girl. Uh, what's her name again? Kate Blanchett. Let's see what they're going to do, man. Let's see what they're talking about. Manly Tears. Yet hope remains. Okay. While the company is true. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Go now and rest. You are weary with sorrow and much toil. Really? Tonight, you will see. Welcome, Frodo of the Shire. Is she speaking Why to him? See me? No, this bitch is corrupt. This guy could use a good foot cleaning, I know that. Will you look into the mirror? What will I see? Even the wisest cannot tell. But a mirror shows many things. Okay, what does it show? Things that are. And some things that have not yet come to pass. Like what? Uh-oh, what is he going? What you got going, bro? It's like everybody's turning their back on him or something. Of course. God, watch out for the ring, bro. Fall too far into it. I know what it is you saw. For it is also in my mind. Uh -huh. It is what will come to pass if you should fail. Okay, Galadriel, we'll see about that. The fellowship is breaking. I think I got this. It's already begun. You will try to take the ring. You know of whom I speak. One by one, it will destroy them all. If you ask it of me, I will give you the one ring. I do not deny that my heart has greatly desired this. Will you succumb to its evil, though? Don't give it to her, bro. In place of a dark lord, you will have a queen! Not dark, but beautiful and terrible as the form! The fuck kind of exorcist shit is you on? Oh no, bro. Uh -uh. <laughs> what kind of shit was that? She turned into Sasha Fierce. You are a ring bearer, Frodo. To bear a ring of power is to be alone. This task was appointed to you. And if you do not find a way, no one will. But I know what I must do. It's just... afraid to do it. Even the smallest person can change the course of the future. Damn right. My fighting Uruk Hai. Look like Booker T. Whom do you serve? 
Saruman. Okay. He speaks. All right, man. He's been manufacturing a lot of these guys. Been mass producing them. Equipped with their own armor, each sold separately. They got swords. Do not stop until they are found. We do not know pain. We do not know fear. You will taste man's flesh. One of the halflings carries something of great value. Bring them to me alive and unspoiled. Okay. Kill the others. Cross the lake at nightfall. Hide the boats and continue on foot. We brought Mordor from the north. Oh, yes. Just a simple matter of finding our way through any wheel. <laughs> An impossible labyrinth of razor sharp rocks. And after that, it gets even better. Right. <laughs> Festering, stinking marshland as far as the eye can see. That is our road. I suggest you take some rest and recover your strength. Are we going to use the turds as our pillows? So you are sending us to our deaths, bit sir. No. Bolt's patrol the eastern shore. We must wait for cover of darkness. But it's not the eastern shore that worries me. The shadow of the threat has been growing in my mind. Mm. Something draws me here. I can feel it. None of us should wander alone. You least of all. So much depends on you. Brother, you sure you do not suffer needlessly? There are other ways, Brother. On the path of one might say. I know what you would say. It would seem like wisdom, but for the warning in my heart. Warning? Against what? They're all afraid, Brother. But to let that fear drive us to destroy what hope we have. Don't you see that it's madness? There is no other way. I ask only for the strength to defend my feet. You will take the ring. And you will beg for death before the end. So, Come on, bro. <laughs> Strange in danger! No! No! No, nigga. You go to your death. And the death of us all! Curse you! Curse you! I don't love this! He! Put him in a chokehold. It's already starting to happen. You guys aren't on the same page. I swore to protect you. Can you protect me from yourself? Would you destroy it? No. He's already calling you, bro. Especially Sam. You will not understand. Uh oh. Some more orcs around? Oh, yeah, these guys. They've caught up with y'all. You better run. You better give him a slip. 
How are you gonna fight all these dudes by yourself? Let's go. Is he gonna go out like a G2? I don't wanna see him die. <laughs> Geronimo! There you go, the cavalry's arrived. We in here. Mm. Bro, you can't afford to be falling like this. really ain't all that. It's just a bunch of them. I thought they was going to be souped up. They're getting their asses whooped. Yeah, bow down to the king of all kings, motherfucker. Ooh. There you go. Mm. I don't know how they can withstand this many of them. That's the big Uber one right there, right? And he's gonna die, of course. Damn. He must be avenged. Okay. There you go, let's go out like Guts from Berserk, man. Take a hundred men to defeat me. Bitch, come and fight me close up. I can't stand this monster. There you go. Still got a little something in the tank. Mm. For the Alliance. Is there no one there to deflect this motherfucker when he shoots arrows? Those are some big ass arrows too. Please, thank you. Spring into action. Do something. You are one ugly son of a... Thank you! Yes! Yes! Let's go! <laughs> oh! Please help him. There you go. Let's get it, man. It's like, what do you think this is? Pray, motherfucker? Oh, there we go. Is that so hard to do? Deflect projectiles. Yes! Yes! Put this motherfucker in reset factory settings. There you go. They took the little ones. Frodo. Where is Frodo? I'm not sure. And you did what I could not. I tried to take the ring from him. I did not see. Oh God! So it seems like this guy is about to go into the big kingdom in the sky, man. Like he is literally on his last leg, and nothing can help. It's like he's about to bite the bullet. But I have to just applaud him for going out like this. You know, he went out like a champ. Like, for real, it's like, this nigga, <laughs> he is a true G, like, for
for real. Like this shit, I did not think I would grow attached to these characters, but here I am. You know, like just looking at them, seeing their character flaws and stuff like that. But yeah, one thing I will say is that these uber badass advanced orcs that they produced, my man, what was his name again? Sar Sarnar or something like that. These these uber troll things or orcs that they produce, I thought they would be a lot more powerful, but. It just seems like they just have a little bit more common sense because you know for the longest time orcs have always been known for being these big massive brutes that don't really think logically but we had a zoner type orc at least you know like we had a lot of zoner type orcs but this guy seems like he knows not to run up like that until it's time and we saw what happened once he did run up you know what i'm saying my boy aragorn or aragorn however you say his name aragorn was able to put him out of there you know what i'm saying tell him to pick him up send him back you know, I put my boy in factory reset mode. But this this is it. This is going to be the final, <laughs> uh, the moment that we've been waiting for. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to waste any more of you guys' time. We're going to go ahead and jump into this. So, let's do it. You did, man. I wish potions existed in this universe. The world of men will fall. No, it won't. And all will come to pass. Too much to ruin. I do not know what strength is in my blood. But I swear to you, I will not let the white city fall. No, our people fail. Our people. Oh, you, my brother. Oh, really? My captain. My king. Your base. Some manly shit right there. I wish the ring had never come to me. Really? I wish none of this had happened. So do all who live to see such times, but that is not for them to decide. All you have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to you. Oh, if only it were that easy. So are you just gonna go alone by yourself? Frodo! Frodo! No black staff! No. I'm going to Mordor alone! Of course you are! Then I'm coming with you! You can't swim! <laughs> Don't drown, Sam, don't do this. Yeah, you're gonna have to go ahead and save him, man. Hurry up. That's a real friend right there, man. Sam is a real one for the real for for real. <laughs> no pun intended. Don't let this man drown. And just like an anime opening, a hand reaches out to grab him. A promise, Mr. Brown. A promise. Don't you leave him, Samwise Gamgee. And I don't mean to. I don't mean to. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> 
Get it, man. Let's level up. So that's all she wrote. No post credit scenes. Oh man. Well guys. <laughs> that was an emotional roller coaster. Like I am speechless right now. And as you can tell, this has really gotten to me. I don't know if my wife is cutting a lot of extra onions for the burgers that she's making for us, but oh my god, that was just like I was entering into a house full of emotions, you know, it was like it, it was very exciting. It was very riveting. There were a lot of times where I was on the edge of my seats and fear and being anxious because I feel like this is the perfect movie that pulls in so many different genres, you know, it, it has its sprinkle of comedy up in there with with how the hobbits do certain things, you know, how Pippin, he's kind of oblivious to stuff. He likes to eat. He, 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 he's kind of like out of it. You know, one of those characters that's like the third wheel or the fourth wheel. Doesn't really just know all the minutiae details, but he's ready to jump in. All the hobbits, too. Also got to give a shout out to the makeup artists and stuff like that. Uh, I'm pretty sure if my wife was here, she would also attest to this, this movie. Having some pretty good wigs, like the hairstyles on this were very solid. You know, there wasn't a time where I was looking and I was like, damn, I can tell that's a lace front, <laughs> you know? So, uh, yeah, it seems like um, this this Mordor, like once we enter into Mordor, that's going to take up the whole movie. I thought I was looking at the time and stuff like that. And I was like, man, they're going to be able to do this within like 20 minutes or so. But no. That was just the moment we needed to get the get everybody on, you know, on code on what they need to do. You know what I'm saying? Like we that's that's all that was. Like get everybody on code on what they need to do and let's just try to go ahead and get this shit done. I really love the character of Aragorn or Argorn and I also like uh Legolas too. Legolas he's obviously a fan favorite. I feel like he's a fan favorite because for whatever reason, Alando Bloom just looks like the perfect person to cast as Link from Legend of Zelda. It's like no matter which version you choose, you can just get him to play Link. And then you got this guy, um, Aragorn, who's like the typical hero, but even he's a little bit, you know, imperfect. He, not everybody. I think that's what they show. It's like everybody has their imperfections, but it's the, the moments where we see how strong they are that really matter. 
you know everybody has a role to play this is this is for all intents and purposes like an rpg if i can say that uh sean ashton i love him i love this guy i love what he does with sam obviously if you guys have been following this channel you've probably been seeing a lot of tmnt 2012 reactions so um <laughs> i love how this guy plays the character that's very supportive you know sam like even though i think that's the the the, the actual hobbits themselves it's like they know that they're at um a disadvantage they can't do a lot of things you know what I'm saying but they make up with it with their bravery it's like the character of Gimli or whatever however you say his name Gimli the the dwarf to see him go through all these different things of like the just enduring that pain of loss that was good and there's so many things I can say, man, but I'm just at a loss for words. I'm just kind of going all over the place because this movie, there's so much in it. Like, everybody did a phenomenal job. From the late Christopher Lee, you know, like, the way he played the character of Saruman. You know, and then we have um, this other guy who played, um, what does he play? Uh, Bilbo. I'm pretty sure this guy, he's not with us anymore. But I like how they show that. They show how the ring has the power to essentially prolong your life. But as soon as you're separated of, of separated from it, it has the ability to uh, strip that away. And as we saw with Bilbo, he started to age rapidly after that. And you see that also with uh, Saruman, where he starts off normal looking, but he's... He, like the more the series like or this movie goes on the more corrupted he gets and you kind of see his skin withering away from using that eye the, the eye of Sauron you know what I'm saying it's just wow like I don't know it's like I'm, I'm over here I'm all misty eyed I'm wondering what my younger self would say to the current version of me now you know he would probably laugh but hey man these are manly tears, you know, and these are respectful tears that I'm giving for this this project. I can't wait to see what's in store for us next. I hope you guys stick around because I'm in it for the long run. We're gonna be doing this all the way up to the Hobbit movies, which I can't wait to see. You know, I can't wait to see how these characters fare. But uh, yeah, if you guys, if there's anything that I may have missed or gotten misconstrued be sure to provide the proper context in the comment section below and if you want to see the full version it will be over on patreon you'll have to join the tier 3 patreon to see it though and once you do join the tier 3 and become a tier 3 patron you will also have the ability to request any movie or show that you want me to react to so do that also I'm gonna hit the like goal at 1000 we're gonna push the like goal to 1,000. So if if you guys really love this reaction and you're on board, you want to see me react to more, and you want to see the next video get uh, put out as soon as this one, be sure to match that like goal of 1,000. Let's try to uh, smash the like button and hit it at 1,000. But that's gonna do it for us today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. I can barely even talk, man, because my emotions are just all over the place. Like, this movie was really good. Um, but this is your boy RBG, aka The Random Black Gamer. We ain't seen the reactions. Hopefully, I see you guys on the next reaction to The Lord of the Rings. Uh, what's the next movie? What is the next movie? I don't know, but the follow up. I think it's The Two Kings or The Two Towers. So, yeah. Peace.